Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to replicate the sum if and count if and sum ifs and count ifs uh, function of Excel in R. So let's start as always by setting our working directory if you don't already know where it is, either through a command or through the uh, GUI. Okay, set as working directory. And that's where our uh, everything is going to be kept when we save to CSV and stuff like that. And clean our global environment. We're going to use the hitters. Uh, it's a baseball uh, data set. So let's load the ISLR um, library where it's coming from. And also the uh, Diplier um, library so we can uh, see how it's, uh, it's done with, uh, with the Diplier uh, commands. Let's have a look at hitters. It's basically a, a large data set of um, major league hitters uh, and all kinds of stats about their performance. So how many times they've been to the plate to bat, how many hits they got, how many home runs, runs, runs batted in, and et cetera, et cetera. Not very interesting um, for the purpose of the exercise. So we're only going to focus on a couple of these. Um, let's open this up in Excel. So I'm going to write CSV, um, the hitters data set, into a hitters.csv file. And let's open it in Excel. OK, so first thing to notice is that uh, this looks a little bit corrupt here. And the reason is, if you look at the, if the, you look at the data set itself, uh, you see that these are all hyphenated. So Excel sees it as a minus. And then uh, we're going to have to just take care of this equals minus just to get this thing going. So Let's replace that quickly. And now we're ready to go. So let's, uh, let's do a uh, sum ifs uh, that would collect the, uh, would sum up all the at-bats of people who are uh, at the plate a lot. So they have an uh, at-bat of over 400. Um, and uh, are not hitting very well. So they're uh, actually, uh, their hits are lower than 100. Okay, so let's see how uh, we're going to do that in Excel. Okay, so we're uh, summing up the uh, at-bats for all the at-bats which are uh, larger than 400 and all the hits which are uh, smaller than 100, and we also want to do the same for hits, so let's sum up hits instead. And you can, um, why is this showing this text? Okay, and now uh, you can uh, check out, for example, how, uh, what's their batting average? Um, so in this case, 0.226, not very good, I guess, in baseball terms, but that's, uh, that's uh, beside the point. And let's see how to recreate that in R. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We're taking the hitters data set, and what we're going to do is we're going to subset um, uh, where the hitters at bat column is over 400, and the hitter and the hitters hits column is less than 100. Okay, and uh, we're going to do that for all the rows, right? So uh, this comma here indicates that we want all the rows which conform to this um, uh, to this uh, these conditions here. So let's have a look at what that looks like. And that's going to show us, so there are about 10 or 11 guys here, hmm, including a couple of maybe famous ones. Uh, Barry Bonds is here, so he was a huge home run hitter, but I guess his average for hits wasn't very good. Um, okay, so uh, we've got this, but I'm not really interested in all of these columns here. I'm just in, interested in uh, at-bats and hits, so let's just take... Uh, the comma here indicates that these are now columns, okay? Whatever comes before is rows and then columns. So I'm taking columns one and two. And then uh, let's have a look at that. And I'm going to put this uh, little data frame into an object called bad hitters. Not necessarily bad hitters, but I'm just calling it like that. 
okay and you can have a look at it here and so now if we want to sum the uh, 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 columns here okay S uh, the, the at bat and the hits columns what we have effectively done is do the same thing as uh, the sum if in Excel so if I sum up the uh, the first column I get 4167 sum up the second column 944 and you'll recall that these are the numbers that we got here okay so and of course you can do that with mean you can do that with uh, standard deviation median whatever um, uh, function you fancy okay uh, now a neat thing that you can do in R which is much harder to do in Excel is to use an OR operator inside these sum, inside these sum ifs uh, and uh, the reason it's hard to do in Excel is in Excel the the function is built by default as an AND uh, operator okay so um, it's it's not going to be able to uh, if you if you want to do an OR here you have to use arrays and it gets a lot uh, a lot more complicated so in R it's very simple. Let's uh, let's just for the sake of the exercise take all the hitters which are uh, which have been to to the plate a lot of times, say over 600, or have been to the plate very few times, say under 300. Okay, so let's have a look at what this looks like. And we're getting a few dozen <coughs> a few dozen results here of players who have either uh, been to the plate a lot or relatively few times. Okay, and again let's just take the relevant columns and put that into a new object. I'm going to call it high low hitters. Okay, so about 130 of them. And again, just run the sum over the first column. So this is how many uh, this is how many hits uh, or at bats they these uh, these players. Another thing which is uh, more efficient in R uh, a little bit I guess than in Excel is that you can simply just run the the uh, these over several cells or several columns at a time. Okay, so if I just do call sums uh, for these two columns, I'm going to get these uh, together at once. I don't have to repeat the process. Same for call means and uh, etc. Now for count, count is a little bit different. Recall there's another post on this, um, another video. Uh, recall that count in Excel is kind of clever okay it's uh, it, it knows to uh, uh, avoid or not to count uh, the NAs and errors whereas in, in uh, R it's not like that so you have to explicitly tell it to uh, um, to uh, exclude these NAs and then what you do is basically since they are a vector, uh, then you look at the length of the vector, and that's what the count actually does. So, now in this case, there are no NAs here anyway, but and it shows us the uh, count here. So, again, in Excel, you, it would be something like. and we get the same the same count here now let's have a look at how to do it a little bit more elegantly as usual with the uh, deep player um, it's just more readable and, and more understandable uh, easier to uh, to follow especially if someone else is reading your code or you're revisiting your code so you're taking hitters uh, with a piping operator and what we're doing is filtering at bat over 400 hits under 100 and then selecting the at bat and hits columns and summarizing uh, using some at bat and some hits and calling it as these uh, uh, local objects here so let's see what that looks like um,
okay, sum AB 4167 and sum H 944. So notice is that what R actually does, and this is uh, how to kind of think in R terms. Uh, it's actually what Excel does as well. It's just uh, not visible to you when you do it in Excel. Is basically it filters the data set first, okay? So um, it's greater than or equal to 400. And here you are able to do the, uh, if, you f if you're going with the filtering route, you actually can do the or uh, operating operator here. Okay, and uh, this is going to be less than or equal to 100. Okay, and so here are our um, uh, hitters, and if we sum these up, 4167 and 944. So this is what is actually going on uh, in, in, in the background here. Now let's say that I would like to, um, let's uh, release all the filters here. Let's say that I want to um, do something which only looks at people who are batters whose names start with CH. Okay, like Chris, Chris, Chili, whoever these guys are. So the easiest way to do this uh, in Excel is to create uh, like an assisting column. And uh, okay, and then let's run a uh, sum if where it says ch. So All right, so these are these guys, and the sum of their um, the sum of their at bats is one thousand nine hundred eighty nine. Let's see how to do this in R. So we have an operator called starts with, okay, um, uh, and remember that we have this hyphen here. So uh, and another thing that uh, I didn't mention about this uh, uh, about this hitters. Um, data set. Let's have a look at that again. Okay, is that the uh, the names of the batters are actually not in a in a column. Okay, if we do hitters um, column number one, what we get is the at bats. Okay. So to get the hitters' names, we actually need to, um, uh, they are stored in an object called row names. Okay, so, and that's why also in Excel, okay, these are the actual names here. And that's why also in Excel, these are, uh, they don't have a header here because this is the, the, uh, the special object called row names in, in R, so it doesn't translate well into um, into Excel, it's kind of separate from the rest of the data set. But this is uh, a lot of our data sets are like that. So starts with, let's see, row names, hitters, uh, which starts with H. So we get a Boolean vector, which has a few trues here, and that's where the uh, indexes of the um, of the batters whose names start with H are, and we're going to apply that to the hitters um, data set in order to uh, extract the um, number of at-bats that they have. So if we take the hitters uh, data set and then we filter, so only the indexes in which these trues occur, okay, uh, and then select the, um, uh, the first column and summarize the the at bats, okay, as sum AB equals sum at bats. Let's see what we get. And it's the 19 um, or 1989. And just to, to have a look at uh, the base R, uh, how that would look is again, so we'll start with row name hitters uh, with uh, hyphen CH. So we get the, um, we get the vector, the Boolean vector. And then you take hitters at bat and filter to only the rows which meet this uh, criteria.
and these are the numbers uh, of the at-bats in those indexes. And then you sum these up, and you get the 1,989. So I hope that's clear and not too confusing. Uh, let me know if you have any comments, questions. I'd be very happy to hear from you.